So we thought about what web copy is, we thought about why our uh, visitors are so impatient, and we understand that it's such an important thing. Let's start then thinking about how we build this into our marketing funnel and our marketing systems. The starting point, as with pretty much everything in terms of marketing, is to be clear, what are we trying to achieve? What are we trying to do? What we need to do is balance the organization's objectives, aims and goals with the aims and objectives of our web visitors. But what we have to make sure is that when we're going to put this time, effort and money into this process, as an organization, we're going to get something back. So what are we trying to do? What are we trying to achieve? What's our website for? What are our marketing goals? What are our business goals? Now that clarity, those objectives, will help then uh, help you choose how to build content, which pages to write, whether you should be putting videos together and so on. So that clarity is really important as a starting point. What are you trying to achieve? The other side of that, if you like, is who's the audience? Who are we trying to reach? Who are the people that we're trying to engage with? And what are they interested in? What's the content they're looking for? Um, are they an older audience? Um, do they like reading copy that is more um, f informal, maybe? Or, or do they like very long, serious articles? Do they like short, snappy pieces? Who are the people we're trying to reach, and what are their preferences? So we've got our objectives, and if you like, we've got their objectives too. And what we're going to try and do, as with all digital marketing, or, or maybe all marketing, in fact, is meet somewhere in the middle. And then what we're going to try to do is to say, OK, what do we have to get across to these people? We may have products and services that we need to educate them about. We, may, we may need to um, have a sort of sense of humor and entertain them. Maybe we need to keep them on our web pages with amusing material. Uh, maybe we need to provide information that gives them uh, price guides or information that helps them choose our products and services. So in a sense, we're doing what's known as edu edutainment, or this balance or this mix between education and information in an entertaining way. And that's actually quite hard for many of us to actually pull off. So some organizations are very good at giving you lots and lots of information, but it's very dry, it's very unappealing. Some organizations are perhaps better at being uh, more normal. They sound uh, more human on their copy. They sound a little bit more engaging, but their information isn't that useful. So we're clear about what we're trying to do. We're clear about our audience. We then have to work out the type of content we're going to give these audiences. If we've been producing content for some time, I think a good idea is to also go and look at the material that we've produced in the past and conduct what's known as a content audit. The idea here is, let's say you've got a website, you've had a website for three, four, five years. Go and have a look at what you've produced. Go and see what's good, what works, what you're happy with. Because there may be content that you could keep I think there's always an assumption when you're starting a new website or you're going to improve your digital marketing is that everything's bad. That may not be the case. So look at what's working and then, of course, try and identify the weak areas, the areas you're going to have to improve. Once you've produced that audit, you're in a better place to actually start perhaps seeking some external input. Now, We've got a slide here that, that indicates the type of testing and the type of research you can do that will give you an external view to your website. So absolutely, you as a team, you as an individual, look over your website. But of course, you're perhaps a bit too close to your website content to see it anymore. So sometimes it's a good idea to you know, run an online survey, ask your customers what they think about your web copy or your website. Uh, run focus groups if you can. Get some of your customers in a room, show them some of your content, ask, ask them to tell you what they think about it. 
it's important that you have that external input to tell you what people actually think about your web copy. So you're clear about your objectives, you're clear about your audience, then start looking at the content afresh. One of the tool that will be very useful in telling you what is working and what isn't working is your analytics. And you can see here I've got a screenshot of, of Google Analytics. You may have a different analytics package, although most organizations, because it's free, uh, tend to use Google Analytics. Now, how will your analytics give you a clue about your web copy? Well, you may have a web page, and you'll look at your analytics, and you'll see that certain pages, people stay on there for a very long time. Uh, they may come in, and they're reading it. it. It seems that they're there for like maybe two, three minutes. Now, that could be a page that, for some reason, is engaging. And you'd want to look at that page and try and work out why do people stay on that page for so long. It could be that there's a video embedded into the page, and that tends to hold their attention. Or maybe that article, you know, you took some time over it, it's very in-depth, and it's a very good article. And that may give you a clue as to the type of extra material you're going to have to produce in the future. Of course, it could be that on that page they're very confused and they're lost and they don't know what to do on that page. So that you have to be careful that you don't misinterpret uh, interpret the, uh, the results. The other way that your analytics may help you is look at pages where people don't tend to stay for very long. They come in and you can see on their analytics they leave very quickly. Those could be the pages you have to start with first to improve the copy. So you, you have a look at your pages yourself, try and get that external input, and also use your analytics tool to give you some clues.